And the key on how to make that work, in my experience, is if you are able to distinguish between deployed and released. Now, who wants to give it a go and explain what the difference is between deployed and released? Nicolas. Yeah, yes, yes, we're getting there. Yeah, other opinions? Yes. Yes. So it's visible by the user. And deployed is actually the change, the configuration, the code, or whatever you're doing is introduced into an environment which is um, production. And yesterday we were actually at the dinner table and one of, I think Jimmy actually mentioned that and he said that if you are able to do that, and that's also my experience, if you are able to distinguish those two somehow, you have a huge impact on how you work, on the safety, on how you deal with technology risk and things like that. Now, can you imagine ways on how to distinguish those two? Feature flags, X, that's the, the, the most obvious one. A lot of teams are using feature flags these days. Who is doing feature flags of some sort? Just to see I have a couple of... Uh, oh, a lot of you. I would say 50%. Cool. Now, there are two more things on how I have seen that working. Um, another one I've seen a lot is with infrastructure. Certain piece of infrastructure, usually people use load balancers or other technology to drive, okay, we deploy to production, but with a certain switch, depending on a session cookie or on a HTTP header or whatever, they um, release it then basically. So that would be another option. And another option I see a lot is with a permission system. So usually in your applications, you have some sort of a uh, permission sy system and in that permission system, you create a, a, a group called alpha users or something like that. And those alpha users will always see all the features. Basically, you release it, everything to them. And the other users will, will not see it. Cool. 